we present a case of a 28-year-old pregnant female complaining of monocular diplopia in the right eye for approximately one month after she had a blunt trauma to the eye in a motor car accident. She had a history of LASIK in both eyes eight years prior to the accident. Her visual acuity was 2200 in the right eye and she pinned hold to 2030. On examination, we could observe that the LASIK flap was dislocated superiorly. It was folded in half, similar to a taco configuration. We could see that the central cornea had some haze and it, the, the central stromal bed had reoptelialized. So here we see a lot of uh, epithelium on the surface of the stromal bed that we have to remove uh, thoroughly. So we use a crescent blade to remove the epithelium 360, not only on the top of the stromal bed, but also in the periphery on the uh, normal cornea outside of the flap. We proceed with the same thing uh, under the LASIK flap. We use the blade to remove all the epithelium in that area. Have to be careful to not tear the flap. And then we can wet the surface with a cannula and BSS and then reposition the LASIK flap just like a primary LASIK. And, and this time it's important to make sure that the LASIK flaps the lace flap edge is aligned, so we use a wet wax cell to ensure alignment and then a dry wax cell in order to make sure there's no fluid under the flap and then that there's no movement and the flap is well uh, positioned. Learning points for this case is to always make sure that you remove the epithelium thoroughly from the stromal bed side and also from the underside of the LASIK flap in order to prevent epithelial ingrowth. If you notice epithelial ingrowth postoperatively, we can repeat the procedure and then suture or glue the flap in position. And then we have to make sure that the flap edge is aligned and this, this is to minimize the risks of postoperative macro and microstria also. In males or non-pregnant females, mitomycin C can be used to reduce haze postoperatively. And in our case, our patient was pregnant, so we opted not use the mitomycin, mitomycin C.